Well, good morning, Andrew. Democrats are starting to map out a path for passing President Biden's economic agenda while hopefully avoiding a government shutdown in the process. Now, today at 5.30 p.m., the Senate will vote on a bill that would fund the government through December 3rd and raise the debt ceiling through next year. But Republicans are still determined to oppose this, leaving Democrats just three days to come up with a plan B before the government runs out of money on September the 3rd. Now, Treasury has a little more breathing room before it hits the debt limit. As of Friday, it had about $244 billion worth of cash and extraordinary measures left. The Bipartisan Policy Center projects the so-called X date will fall between October 15th and November 4th. Democrats are also making a final push on infrastructure. The House will start debating the bill on the floor today with a final vote now scheduled for Thursday. Now, President Biden spoke with Democratic leadership before he left for Camp David this weekend, and he sounded confident about the bill's prospects when he returned. I'm optimistic about this week. It's going to take the better part of the week, I think. But, of course, this is all contingent on whether Democrats can hash out an agreement on that $3.5 trillion social spending package this week as well. So, guys, this really is make or break for the party. Back over to you. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.